You guys are the most important people in my life. And, you know, I, I've told you guys a little bit about this process, and I wanted to let you guys know that the experts have found me a match. They did oh, find us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting married in two weeks. <laughs> So you're for sure getting married. I am for sure getting married. To a stranger. You're ready for that? To a stranger. I am engaged right now, yeah. You know, so crazy. The whole scenario is pretty outlandish. If anybody were, were to do this, it, it would have been you. Uh, <laughs> I am somebody who wears my heart on my sleeve. You know, kind of what you see is what you get. I'm an indigenous, uh, so Native American. Uh, my tribes are Diné, which would be Navajo, and Muscalero Apache. You know, I would love to introduce, you know, my culture to my wife, you know, because that's everything that I am. In Navajo tribes, we have a coming of two souls, you know, masculine and feminine. You know, the masculine and feminine thing, I would say does reside within me because I have explored that feminine side, um, you know, when it came to going on a date with a man. That is something I did do. It was just the one date, uh, and I kind of got a surprise kiss, but that was also like just the door where it's like, mm, I'm not gay. Being an electrician, I have been all around Colorado, but I'm still looking for everlasting love. You know, something that my grandparents on my father's side, something they found and lasted for 63 years until my grandfather passed away. And so it would be very nice to have, you know, a companion that I love and that loves me back. Forever is really the goal. Even though you're jumping into a marriage, it's okay to take things slow. I think if you rush things, like I think you typically do sometimes yes. in relationships. That's a great thing. That's a you thing. rush into them and I can see you fall out of them. Right. So taking your time, making sure that you get to know her as who she is as a person because mm -hmm. she's doing the same thing you are. She's making a huge sacrifice. Right. Because yeah. I mean, it is a life commitment, you know, and that, that's probably one of the biggest things I'm scared of. But I really am looking for a partner, you know? And so I am optimistic for love. I haven't seen y'all in so long, so it's nice that we could like get together for a little game night. A little charcuterie. Hey, hey, little charcuterie board. Charcucci board. Drink a drink. I remember how I told you that I was applying for Married at First Sight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How y'all feel about like me in the process? I have mixed emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so if I told y'all I didn't get selected, would you be relieved? Girl, that's your life. Yeah, that's right. Right. Like, how would you feel if you weren't selected? <laughs> We will never know what will, I will feel if I didn't get selected because I'm getting married in two weeks two to a weeks. stranger. Hold up, two weeks. Like nobody's playing for that. Like what? Two weeks. Two two weeks. Like that. Your bitch is getting married. <laughs> Yes, I'm young, I'm wild, I'm free, but I'm also a certified lover girl. <laughs> I'm not really big on labels, but I would say if I had to identify as anything, it would be queer or maybe even just like a floater. <laughs> I'm a little bit more attracted to, in theory, the safety a man provides, the strength a man provides, the bravado. I'll always be attracted to women, I'll always be attracted to men, even outside my husband, let's just be real. But I'll be committed to my husband always. I'm monogamous. <laughs>